run in there somewhere. There it is. Hey everybody, we're just storming on into the fast jam tonight, ready to go. How are you doing out there? Hope you are warmed up, feeling good. And let's let's get into it. We're gonna start tonight with a salty dog blues. So Here's how it goes, just in case you don't know. You probably do. But anyway, here it is. <clears throat> uh, one, six, two, five, and five, and a one. So it goes around the horn. G7, A7, B7, back to one. Those could all be majors, too. They don't have to be sevenths. But that's the whole song. Uh, na -na 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 -na. off might go something like something like that uh, I'm gonna double check tuning here Okay, here we go. Salty Dog Blues in the key of G, and you are going to kick us off. Let's find a good tempo here. That's about right. So here's your tempo. And let me demonstrate a kick off again just to get it that much more in your head. One, two, three. I'll try that again. Here's my kickoff. One, two, three. Something like that. Anyway, I'll bet you have a really good kickoff on this one. And go ahead and get yourself set up. And I'll count you in. Kick us off on Salty Dog Blues in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three. Standing on the corner with the lowdown blues, great big hole. Bottom of my shoe, honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your
Naughty Dog play. up here to the fast tempos and nice to take that one around a few times. Fun changes to play over and sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't quite, but it's always fun to play the good old Salty Dog Blues. You got the old Martin G string, you know the drill if you're a guitar player. You get right up into the spot and then it pops over pops over into the sharp zone. Okay, next we have Down Yonder. Fun, fun instrumental. It has words, but we're going to play it like an instrumental. In G. And this is one of those tunes that is good for what I call speed training because you can always go The basic melody can be played really at any tempo no matter what your level is. It's it's not a difficult melody to play even though the rhythm might be going by really fast. So you can use that as a launching pad to stay in this uh, faster tempo and be ready to branch off from there, right, into some double time licks. So let's try this tempo and I'm going to kick it off and let's play it, let's play it four times through, why not? We're in the fast jam, we're, we're working things out, right? Uh, here we go, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, and then just end it when we get to the end. Da, 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 da. Something like that. Da, 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 da. That'll be the ending. We don't need to tag it. Okay, here we go. I'm kicking us off on Down Yonder in G.
hardest part. That last lick, right? That's the tricky part on that one for me. If you're playing a straight melody, it's really easy, but I'm always wanting to do something more. Sometimes that's the lesson, to do a little bit less and land it clean. Uh, but anyhow, there we go. Down yonder, fun, fun jammer, fun way to get around some cool chord changes and, you know, have something that you can always come back to the simple melody, but you can always branch off to the kind of tricky double time version too. All right, let's check in on the live streams. How are we doing out there? Is this thing on? Is it working? Let's see. I sure hope it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are working on the Facebook land. Wonderful. Sorry, let me get the thing muted. Okay, there we go. We're muted. All right. Hi, David. You're back. Hanging with us all night long. Hi, David Foster. David Holcamp and David Foster. Great to see you both. Jennifer Hayden. Sage is back. Brian from Disneyland. All right. Sandy in Bakersfield, Skip in Longmount, Patrick, Ackerson, cool, welcome. All right, how are we doing on YouTube land? Let's make sure that is up and running. And our next song on the list is Brown's Fairy Blues. This was a request from last week, and I went ahead and obliged. Cool, hi Big Dan, you're back. Hi Ford, you're back and picking. All right, Rich Johnson. From Chicago, all right. Thank you for jamming along, Rich. Yes, I know it's 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 fast for all of us. It's and you know we're all pushing our ourselves here, um, and you know you're learning little bits along the way, right? But like that tune, right? That's the song. That's the whole lesson of that one is that you can play that no matter what your level. That is my point here. So diving into this and staying relaxed and just finding things you can do at these tempos is very worthwhile. Okay, Brown's Fairy Blues in G. And I'm, you know, I'm swinging for the fences because that's that's my style. I like to, it, when we're at the jam, if I was on a performance, I would try to play it clean and tasteful. We're at the jam, so I'm, I'm kind of going for it, you know, so don't, don't mind me if I'm, if, if, if I'm doing things that seem inappropriate. Um, play as appropriately as you like and as tasteful as you like. That's the lesson here. So Brown's Fairy Blues. We're going to be at actually the exact same tempo as we were. So we're going to go like this. One and one, four, 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 one, one. Got that Brown's Fairy Pie. Got that if you follow the vocals you'll hear it. Hard luck pop stand in the rain, world was corny, could my grain, Lord, Lord, got them browns fairy blue. Runs around in second and close, smells feet wherever he goes, Lord, Lord, got them browns fairy blue. So it's a little bit of a crooked form. And my kickoff, I kind of I learned this from Doc Watson, so I try to play it like Doc, something like one, two, three, four. So however you like to do it, go ahead and kick us off here on Brown's Fairy Blues in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three. Ha, <laughs> sorry. I gotta sing it in my head to keep it straight. I'm sorry. I got a little distracted. Here we go. Kick us off on Brown's Fairy Blues in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three.
Am I doing this right? Okay, sorry. Uh, the breaks and the kickoff are totally straight. They're not crooked like that. It's when it sings uh, that it's crooked. Okay, sorry about that. Do over, rewind. Here we go, kick us off straight through the form on Brown's Fairy Blues in G. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna give you another shot of that since I messed you up the first time. And now that you're on it, here we go, one more time. Now that you're good and warmed up, kick us off on Brown's Fairy Blues. In G. One, two, one, two, three. Giving back his walking cane, Lord, Lord, got the Browns very blue. Crawled in the way, went to town, saw that woman, and now he's down, Lord, Lord, got them Browns very blue. Song, but a cool song. 
A lot of these songs we're doing aren't necessarily from the traditional bluegrass world, but most of them are. That one's from Doc Watson, and Doc is in a league of his own, right? And I don't know where he got that song from. If anyone knows, maybe, maybe chime in if you got a source for that. Okay, we're going to capo up to A and play the old Clinch Mountain backstep. Why not? Okay. I'm assuming you know Clinch Mountain Backstep, but let me kind of run you through the changes just in case. In A. One and one, one and one, one and one and five. One and one, one and one, one and five and one. Da, 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 da. One and one and five. So it's got that extra beat uh, in the B section, okay? So I'm going to kick us off and we're going to play it four times through. Clinch Mountain Backstep, all right, in A. Here we go. And I'm just going to count it in. I'm not going to play taters. It doesn't seem appropriate for this one. So here we go. Clinch Mountain Backstep, I'm going to kick us off four times through. Me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you and then tag it at the end. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
Clinch Mountain Backstep. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, we got a few more songs here. Little Joe. Um, how many of you know this song? Well, if you don't know it, you're going to know it really soon. And it's very straight up. Um, and Monroe did it in D. That's very high vocal. I'm in A. And it's just a 1 4, 1 5. And a 1 and 1 and 4 and a 1. 1 and a 1 and a 5. 1 and a 1 and a 4 and a 4. 5 and a 5 and a 1. Straight ahead. And my kickoff goes something like 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. kick us off here on Little Joe in the key of A. One, two, one, two, three.
sweet song, a sad song, a goofy song. Uh, very fun to play. I'll chime in, see how we're all doing. Hi, Ford. Ford is done. Thanks for sticking it out with us. Big Dan. Tennessee Ernie Ford covered in 1959, The Green River Boys. You're talking about uh, Brown's Fairy Blues, I take it. Very cool. Delmore Brothers. Thank you, Big Dan. Yep, yep, Delmore Brothers. I kind of should have known. All right. Well, you all are getting it done out here. How we doing in Facebook land? Hi, Corey. Hi, Matt and Liz. Picking in Arroyo Seco. Hi, Sandy. Travers. Travers Brothership. That is a cool name. Thanks for being here. Hi, Bob Ray. Hi, Patrick Ackerson. Hi, Skip in Longmont. All right. Okay, a few more songs here. We got the old Joe Clark. Now, this is our speed training exercise, so we're going to crank up the tempo on this. Whenever we do old Joe Clark, the idea is to try to play it really, really fast, so then we can come back, settle back down to somewhere in between, and it's going to feel more comfortable. So this is uh, the concept of velocitation that I like to talk about from driving school. The concept is, when you start driving... You know, you speed up to like 45 and that feels fast. And then you speed up to 55 and that feels really fast. And then you speed up to 75 and that feels really fast. But then after a while, it doesn't feel fast anymore. And then you slow back down to 55 and that feels slow. This is the same concept. They call it velocitation in driving school. And it's to not have a false sense of security when you're out there on the highway. Remind yourself how fast you're going. In this case, it's to give us a false sense of security going really fast. Right? So we're going to be fast on Old Joe Clark, and then we're going to come back down for, uh, or we'll kind of hang out, you know, in this area. We're not going to go any faster than this. I say that, but I'm, I better, I better tick it up a notch. Um, okay, yeah, this is, this is our max tonight, and these last couple songs, we're going to back it down and then kind of get up somewhere close to here. And I don't like telling you what tempos we were at. I mean, if you got a metronome, you could figure it out. But anyway, here we go. This is our fastest tempo. And we're going to give it a try. And why don't we play it five times through, just to give us a chance. And why don't we just play the rhythm a couple times through old Joe Clark. So I'll play you the rhythm the way I play it. And just strum along or pick along and get yourself sort of acclimated. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Da 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 five. One and one, 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 five. Even if you're just doing this. One, one, five. One da 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 One and five. One, 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 flat seven. Da 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 One, five, one. One, da 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 One, flat seven. basic eighth note version and start peppering in little quick things as you go and try to build it to the point where you can do longer lines uh, in a 16th note rhythm so in other in other words you can start like this
and just try to get those short bursts of quickness not to like wear yourself out. Um, and then eventually you'll be able to kind of get a sense of, of how to stay relaxed at that kind of tempo. I know this is pushing it for all of us, pushing it for me, pushing it for all of you, and that's why we're here. So we'll play it five times through. Me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, and then you tag it at the end, okay? Here we go, old Joe Clark in A, I'm gonna kick it off. play a tag at this tempo, you are winning the game. And it is a game. This is all for fun, right? Some of us are in this for a living, you know, and 
I'll show up on a stage and I'm the big champ and everyone expects me to be able to like play at these tempos. But I'm not naturally there. I have to work constantly. I have to work daily. I try to hit this tempo every day. And it takes me a while to get to it. So, you know, I'm 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 here exposing myself to you in this vulnerable way just so everybody understands that um some some players do have a natural ability to kind of like get right into this tempo, um, but most of us don't. And this is part of the drill, part of the training, part of how we push each other, and part of how you are all pushing me by being here, being interested in the jams, and keeping me on uh, live, doing my best to play this business on camera. If you're not picking right now and you're just watching, hey... Do something. Do some push-ups or something, okay? All right. Uh, we're going to move on to White Freight Liner Blues in B. And we're going to back this tempo down. And it might feel a little bit more reasonable now that we've been up in that zone. Just for a minute, let me just blast this ahead of where we were. And just think about it. Just conceptualize this in your mind. There are bluegrass bands that play at this tempo. I don't. But this does happen. One, two, three, four, one. I can't even, at this point, the backbeat is, is, is not happening. This is like one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. You can still play old Joe Clark. I don't know if I would ever be able to play that with 16th notes, but there are bands and, and players that do. So just think about that for a second in your mind. And then when we back it down to where we're going to be, it's going to seem reasonable, okay? Just think about that, conceptualize it. One and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four. Try to play it. Even just for a measure. playing rhythm here it's like there's no like straight like playing it's you got to work around it right okay so don't worry we're gonna back it down to something reasonable and this is going to seem manageable after all that. Okay? That's how felicitation works. All right. White Freight Liner Blues in B. This seems so slow now. Anyway, it starts on the four chord. It's a 12 bar blues that starts on the four. And a four and four and four and four and one. the melody going out on the highway the melody is on the one the melody is the tonic of the key and the chord is the four so when you go to the four chord remember that one of the key is the melody note so here's my lick That makes the kickoff on the guitar and on the banjo, I would think, as well. It makes it pretty doable. Uh, other instruments, you, you've got your own set of problems to, to tackle in this one. But remember, the melody doesn't go to the four. The melody goes to the one. With the four chord happening around it. So, with that in mind, kick us off playing the proper melody as close as you can on the old white freight liner blues in the key of B. Here you go. You're kicking it off. 
wine Going out on the highway This new that big trucks wine Good work. Way to tough it out. You know, sometimes you really got it. Sometimes you can break through. And oftentimes I will actually sit here and like pick a few more after all of this. You know, for me, it helps to have the camera off. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's that's a good time. It's just like when you're out gigging, right? When you play the gig and then you jam afterward, you're all loose and warmed up and you can break through to these places that you didn't think possible. And it's like that book, Inner Game of Music. I think it's the Inner Game of Music. Letting go to the impossible. Just letting it happen. It can happen, and you do have the ability. All right, ain't going to work tomorrow in the key of B. We're going to be right around the same zone here. And this one goes like this. And I'll just play. I'm going to sing a verse and a chorus and strum so you can kind of strum along, pick along. Get yourself kind of warmed up to uh, this song, which is actually sort of an easier chord progression to play over, I think. Even though it's the same chords, but it's a little more of a one chord happening. So, uh, in B. I'm going to leave this country. I'm going around the world. I'm going to leave this country for the sake of one. be a version of a kickoff. Let me let me show you how I would kick it off a little cleanly and more simple. One, two, three. Alright, something like that. Anyway, you know this tune. You know this song in B. Ain't gonna work tomorrow. And you're going to kick it off. I'm working tomorrow. Most of you are probably working tomorrow. We're all working on something. If you're on vacation, and you're probably going to play this better than the rest of us. Here we go. Ain't going to work tomorrow in the key of B. Kick it off. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going around the world. I'm going to leave this country for the sake of one little girl.
Well, it would be nice if it was a rainy day here in California, and I hope you get some snow everywhere else. And I hope you all are feeling good and feeling great about the effort you put in tonight. Again, if you were just listening to all that, I hope you're doing push-ups or something <laughs> along the way. Because we're practicing, we're trying to get better at playing fast on this here fast jam. That's the drill. Okay, well, you know, this week we got uh, the Wednesday uh, Jam Play Live series still happening. We're going to be kicking off Keep Your Lamp Trimmed and Burning this Wednesday. That's a cool one. Maybe we should do that on the mid-tempo jam one of these times. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be more hustling around here at Grant Central. I'm getting ready to release this album in May. i working on getting a new website up, a bunch of that kind of stuff composing a bunch of new music. That's kind of a surprise I'll tell you about uh, once I get more of that done. And it's always just a mix of trying to be productive and trying to be happy around here, right? And those two kind of go hand in hand in a lot of ways for me. Uh, but uh, make sure you take the time you need for yourself, everybody, as best you can. Take care of one another. Keep on practicing. Keep that music flowing in your lives. And I'll be back here next week with you. Okay? See you then.